What's up guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, I just got something to show you here guys, that's one of my favorite knives, uh, hands down. Uh, this is the Swedish Forest Knife by Castrum, the number 10 Swedish Forest Knife by Castrum. Uh, just an immaculate knife, um, if you're into bushcraft and hunting, then this is a knife for you. I can tell you that hands down, this thing's been tested everywhere from here to Scotland to, you know, from here from Canada to Scotland, all over Europe, all over the world. You know, as a hunting knife as well as a bushcraft knife. A lot of the hunters, like the Pace Brothers, some good people, uh, uh, check out their series, uh, Enter the Into the Wilderness, uh, here on YouTube, and they have some podcasts going on. You know, they've used the knife for their cooking tasks, to gutting deer, you know, getting fires going, everything themselves. I've tested up here along the coast and done umpteen carvings and, you know, done a lot of stuff there, uh, behind the scenes with this knife, and I just love this one. So... We'll get into a few little things about it. You've got cognac brown leather sheaths, immaculate, with a nice thick welt of leather. Uh, you've got a drainage hole there, provided ferrocium rod loop. Uh, and this is a castrum ferrocium rod as well. Very, very nicely done. Very thick. Uh, probably a little bit even thicker than the Army uh, Fire Steel by uh, Light My Fire. Very, very nice uh, fire steel. Even the shot cord is cool. Even little things, guys, add up, right? Uh, it's like brown shot cord. Uh, it has this number three dangler system, which has a 400 kilogram towing capacity. So you could pull a deer with this. People have uh, hang a bear bag, keep it on your belt, and just hang your keys. You know what I mean? Uh, you can get, obviously hang the knife that way as well. And if you're backpacking or something or going into an area where you didn't want to show off your knife, you can just unclip the knife off of the carabiner and just have this on your belt. When you're moving along, put the knife back on the carabiner. It's that simple. Just everything about this, guys, is unique and well thought out. This knife wasn't just something that was dreamed up in 10 minutes. A lot of thought went into this, and it was designed by the owner of Castrum, uh, David Cassini Backstrom, and a fellow bison bushcraft off of uh, Instagram. He's not just off of Instagram, but, you know, that's where I've seen him. And uh, just immaculate job designing this knife and the uniqueness about it. Uh, it screams hunting and screams fishing and screams bushcraft. So, um, so we'll get at the knife here, guys. It is a curly birch with brass pins, K720 steel, which is O2 tool steel. Uh, basically, the same properties of O1, but uh, a couple little things minor that make no difference whatsoever. So, it's basically if you want to know, it has the same properties as O1 tool steel. Uh, it's very thick, 90 degree spine, very thick tip right there. It has its own sort of unique spear point type blade, just immaculate, immaculate uh, shape. Uh, it lends to any task you're going to want to do because of that shape of the handle, and that's where another part of the uniqueness goes in. It has a sort of contoured, sort of Coke bottle-ish, but not. Uh, it's, it's his own, like I said, it's his own entity, the entity of this knife is. Um, it lends to getting in for your notching, which I'll show you here now, because of the shape. You get really, really good, like, powerful cuts when you're notching. So you can get in there and you make a couple stop cuts, like so. You can see right there, make those two little stop cuts. And then it cuts off layer by layer, guys. Just an immaculate job it does for doing your notching. If I were to pick a knife and I had to go out and do like a like primitive trap line or something like that where I had to do a lot of notching, this would be the knife definitely I grabbed for sure because of the shape of it. Because you just get so much power when you're bearing down on the knife because of the shape. And I mean that obviously isn't a mistake. You know, when they were designing the knife, that was a, a big a big thing I think that went along with it. But uh immaculate notcher, you can get in, you can see those little curls how how fine those uh, this knife does make curls and this is a knife guys that I haven't stropped or done anything to I left it this way for the task video and from some other videos I was gonna do I haven't stropped it did anything to it uh, it's not as razor razor sharp as it was like when I got it out of the box but it's darn near close guys we'll put it that way and I've had this for a few months but that just goes to show you can take off little pieces you know, just little pieces like this, these little like square square pieces, and it just notches beautifully. Um, another thing too I love about it, guy asked the other day why 90 degree spines are so important, you know, to me. 
it's because you can get shavings for tender you know like so you can get those fine you know fine little shavings for tender but it also just saves your blade so you're not using your blade to just do what I did you can just flip the knife over and use your 90 degree spine um, I don't think it's that uh, difficult for manufacturers to do it and there's a few kind of what you would call larger knife companies that kind of drop the ball on not making their knives 90 degree spine and I don't even go for them at all because of that reason this thing here has every box that I would want ticked it's just immaculate so as well for just your normal carving this wood is hard as a rock too it's like driftwood I just found on the beach here but it just cuts in layer by layer guys you can see that just immaculate cuts right in there and just you know just gets in by layer by layer by layer and then with that shape easily get in and just snap your notch or snap your uh, shavings right off of there <laughs> away you go with one little sort of swipe but uh, very 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 sharp out of the box and it has held its retention up very very well but you can get in and do a lot of your tasks it's more or less precision as well so if you need to get into a little spot and make it like a fine trigger type mechanism or you want to get in and make a certain type of like seven notch like I just sort of made started making there um, you can use the knife precision wise too if that makes sense to you you know you can get in and just make you make you make the uh, the woodworking yourself the way you want it because of the sharpness of the blade and uh, the profile so you can get in and you know take off little little pieces here and there of Hanks to just make really really good notches and uh, you know for triggers and just for fun more than anything too guys a lot of a lot of people take stuff seriously which they should being in the back country and whatnot but also there's just nice to sit down and carve something with a nice beautiful tool like this as well but uh, I'm gonna bring you over here guys I'm gonna show you using some uh, fat wood and uh, igniting it so I'll show you the ferrocenium rod how well those work and then we'll go from there but I mean like I said guys this is definitely if uh, I have about six knives that I rec would recommend to anybody for price and for anything else this is definitely in that six and it's in the higher range of like one two or three of like the best knife I'd recommend to somebody so just give me a second guys I'll set the camera up and we'll ignite a little bit of fat wood here and I'll show you how great the spine works as well so you want to get in here guys with that immaculate 90 degree spine and get yourself a nice little pile of Maya dust or fat wood shavings and once again that 90 degree spine coming in handy um, if I have put it this way guys if I have a piece of fat wood in this knife and the little bit of knowledge I do have you know which is growing daily I guess we'll say for igniting things and uh, what woods work and what don't if I have a nice piece of fat wood this knife and uh, that rig with a fair seam rod guys uh, I can definitely get a fire going in the bush or get it going on the coast here because you can baton with this and do all that I'm not going to do that in this video guys. You can take it from there. It's all one tool steel It's very thick and I mean you can baton with it, but I just don't need to right now For anything I'm doing so I mean I just think that's kind of overkill to show you something that the knife can do and besides that guys I'm not a huge fan of batoning anyway. I carry a folding saw or a hatchet with me you know 90% of the time so I just wouldn't take my knife to those levels unless I had to I guess we'll put it that way but this knife will have no problem doing the problem doing that so you get yourself a nice little pile right there and uh, use that uh, very very nicely made cast and fair sam rod and provided loop and what I like to do guys is I'll hold the tinder down with the ferrule rod and I will uh, Sort of uh, just give it a couple, drop a couple sparks right into where it needs to go. And without hitting the rock here as well. But as you can see guys, with that ferrule rod, a good piece of fat wood, and this knife, you have got yourself a flame that you can ignite other things with, and away you go. So, absolutely love this setup guys. Uh, like I said, definitely a spook recommended knife it's one that uh you know i would like to own two of 
and I may eventually, you never know, down the road, have two of them. But uh, just an immaculate knife, guys. Uh, I implore you to check one out. Um, gonna be using this in more videos as well, guys. Uh, this is just another one, just a little introduction to a couple tasks that I want to show you and a little talk about it but just an immaculate knife i do recommend this one as i said and i'm going to do a video of knives i recommend to buy and uh, this will definitely be in it so anyway guys stay safe this is a castrum swedish forest knife number 10. thank you very much to castrum for just being good people and uh making quality products for us uh, fellows to try out and uh, buy so thank you very much guys stay safe and uh, keep your stick on the ice